Hi, um, Demi Ademichon. Hi, I'm Mimi Koku. Welcome to Alta Daily. For me, it was just more of like you make a film and you don't know, you know, you live with the project for like so long and you actually don't know if it makes sense. Um, so for me, it was just like, okay, let other people see this. People who are, have no idea what this is. Um, and let me get a, a view of like what they think about it. Um, so it was good. The feedback was good. Um, people had questions. On the first day, people had theories, which was like mad for me. Um, but yeah, the first, the film is called it is not yet my turn to die, and it's about, it's a day in the life, a very mundane day in the life of a young woman, and she's just going about doing bits and bobs, just doing different things. And at the end, you're sort of like met with this question of like, whether she's actually alive, um, whether the whole thing happened in her head, um, and like what exactly her mind state is. Um, so yeah, for me, it was just like an exploration of like, mental spaces and I guess particularly like depression which was like you know what I was trying to channel through the film. I was happy I did it with a small budget because I was trying to do like I guess follow the style of like the French new wave kind of films and they did it on like shoestring budget so we literally only had money to pay two people and everything else was just like begging, borrowing, favors, um, stuff like that. But yeah so I'm, I'm happy I, I did it with a small budget and I'm happy with how it turned out, but like, I guess with anything creative for me, it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, what's next? Like, I'm not really dwelling in it. My film, Mosquito, was kind of similar in some ways to D Demi's in terms of themes that it touched on. So it was like, a, it's an experimental exploration of anxiety and depression. Um, and so that's kind of why we came together to screen. The film, uh, it took like, from conception to release, really, about a year to make in total. Um, and it was shot out in, in England. So um, that's where I'm based at the moment. So I was working there and, and shooting the film there. And we had a, like a decent budget, um, but uh, obviously it wasn't really expected to be that budget if, if i say that so that was quite tricky working with that most of it was crowdfunded and well actually part of it was crowdfunded and most of it was self-funded so that really drained my my savings <laughs> but you do it for the art right so um i think i mean i don't know about the entire scene but i know like i know some people doing really good work um the surreal 16 people so abba makama um CJ and um, Mike, they do like amazing films. A couple of their films showed at BFI, I think, um, yeah. and film festivals here. Abba's two feature length films have been on Netflix. Um, so, like, underground people are getting an opportunity. And I think, like, because of all this, like, streaming wars and the focus on Africa, whether it's pure or not, all of us have opportunities to, like, get our voice out there. Um, and the other thing that I'm finding out is like these studios, these bigger films are actually looking for like creatives to come and like shake up what they're doing. So, you know, before I used to be like snobbish to them, like Nollywood is trash. But now I'm like, now nah, some of us can actually work with people who have bigger budgets and stuff to like, you know, make dope shit. So I'm optimistic. Um, I agree with everything you were saying. I feel as though as well, like you were saying, because um, there's kind of a focus on Africa and West Africa at the moment, it's an exciting time to be a creative in any aspect, like in any field. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the industry is out here still ev evolving, so you can kind of, if you, if you make the most of your opportunity, you can get ahead of things and kind of, I guess, drive the narrative or... Uh, I don't know, have a direct impact on what the face of the industry can look like, like moving forward. So it's really exciting in that aspect. Um, but um, I feel like there are also, um, there's also a, like a limit to how much I will really, really understand. Like you're on the ground now at the moment in terms of like the Nigerian film industry. I'm still like learning it at the moment because I'm still based not here, basically. Um, do I have a favorite Nigerian film? 
Unfortunately, I didn't catch ABBA's film at Correct. the BFI, but I did go and see um, this film, Walking with Shadows, at the BFI, and I enjoyed that. It was like an interesting, it, again, it was like a taboo topic because it followed the life. It was based on a book of the same name, and it follows the life of this like Nigerian homosexual man, which I like don't really see that um, in Nigerian cinema ever, just like different perspectives. And so... Um, and yeah, I thought it was great. And it had this like international platform, which was cool because, um, yeah, it was cool. But I don't know that I have a favorite. That's just something that, in terms of film cinema that I've gone to see recently, yeah, that comes to mind. But Yeah, I mean, like, I like French cinema. I think, like, they're not necessarily, like, the most entertaining, but they're very, like, um, intellectual. And, like, they, they like to talk about existence um so yeah they make a lot of existential films um same to like similar to like iranian cinema i like iranian films as well but i just find that like literally every country i guess and every industry kind of has their own style um so i try to watch like films from all over the world tv shows am i watching now um vikings <laughs> love that show nice. um what else am i watching at the moment I like was obsessed with Fleabag when it was Yo, is so such fun. a good show. I was thinking of starting The Witcher. People keep recommending that to me. I don't know if it's, it's going to be good, but is it good? <laughs> I played the video game, so oh, I, yeah, so I'm a big fan of video games. Um, I'm not really big on TV shows to be honest, but I saw Messiah on Netflix, um, and that too, it was interesting. It was like the questions that I posed were kind of interesting. Um, and I'm watching The Brotherhood right now. It's also on Netflix. It's um, Brazilian. It's pretty sick. Um, Chicken Run. No, 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 let me think. Oh. That's genuinely my favorite film of all time, by the way. Really? I'm not even kidding. Last year, I saw Parasite. And Parasite is literally... Parasite and Midsommar. I literally, like, changed, changed my life. Like, changed the type of film. Changed what I wanted to do in the film industry completely. But uh, yeah, Parasite is is probably the film that I would recommend to anyone. Twenty twenty. No, anything. I don't, I don't does anything go? <laughs> does anything go? <laughs> look at say, look at say what I don't believe. I don't believe anything goes. No, no, no. explain, elaborate. No, I just. Oh, about to get deep. No, about to get I feel like I don't. Yeah, I don't think anything goes. Like I feel like. I think in life, everyone everyone has to have their own principles and their own things. And, like, you can choose whatever your principles are. But, like, when you say anything goes, it's like, I can't just come here and stab you. Like, like anything can, I mean, anything can never go. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I think, like, you know, I, I think a lot of, like, whack shit is happening in the world. And because people think anything goes, we're not, like, checking ourselves where we should actually check ourselves. That's that's just yeah, but yeah, that's that's just all. I'm, that's just all. But you like you like the struggle. It's not a struggle to eat chicken wings. If it's done right, it just falls off the bone. If it's exactly. that's not true. That's not true. And you can get the mini ones that are kind of like mini drumsticks. That's a chick. That's a literally baby chicken that you're gonna eat just because you want to. So chicken wings. Where are the best chicken wings in Lagos? I don't eat chicken. I hate chicken wings. I don't know. I feel so offended by this. I literally hate chicken. So even if they were decent sized chicken wings, you wouldn't eat that no. chicken. No, uh, no. Chicken is chicken, Demi. Three hours later. You say what no, you just like, refused to I like the thigh. I like the thigh. The thigh is the number one. The thigh isn't then, bad. Then breast. Chick no, chicken, chicken breast is disgusting. It's sweet. To be fair, I get what it's you mean. It's dry. It's dry. It it's just... The Alternative Network.